right, Togo. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. <laughs>
leaders gather. There may still be survivors in sight. You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit one's uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. I confess, I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me, this indulgence, Your Majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am the man of House Harvard. And you will yield! Or not. As long as you don't hold back.
trick. You will forgive me if my performance seems uninspired. It is just that I expected so much more from our chosen one. Uh, perhaps this will kindle your flame? What now? A gift from my liege lord's armory. Ungnir. Watch closely, Nilfos.
is strong. My leash. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. So soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. Did my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer. One that must be excised.
as weak as all the rest. Joshua! Will you be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some girl you hardly know. <laughs> Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. Clive! You're awake. My boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them. Along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't sail without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the king busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. Or do you have an idea? Uh, well, 
Of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. Gav said that Otto might know something. Let me tell you a story, Clive. All right. Them rumors wet legs were spreading. Might be they weren't just tales plucked out of thin air. You see, there were a time when I weren't too particular about who I sold steel to, so long as they paid me the right price. Some women lust after blood, others after flesh, but me? I were always one for gold. And to satisfy that lust, I sold to opposing armies, stabbed my every client in the back, made myself the most hated woman in the twins. But then one day, one day I met a man who made me a different kind of offer. Said he'd give me access to a realm-wide community of like-minded individuals in constant need of steel and sundries. On the condition I sold to him and his alone. Was that the first time you met Sid? Aye. And I fell right into his damn trap. He were true to his word, so I ended up being true to mine. And I soon started making the best profits I've seen since taking up the trade. And all without aiding or abetting any outlaws. Except Sid himself, that is. Told me about his plan to topple the Mother Crystals, you know. Said that with them gone, the realm would want for all manner of things. An opportunity for the likes of me to mint Gil. Why, I reckon an enterprising individual could find herself the richest dam in the twins. And that's when he had me. I emptied my stores that day and moved into the Ardaway proper. And the rest, as they say, is ancient bloody history. A dozen years on, and I'm still not the richest damn. <laughs> not for lack of trying, mind. But I can say that I have never been happier. You've all shown me there are some things more precious than Gil. That there are. So don't you go messing it all up. Or you'll have me to answer to. Clive. That great lump. No. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better I'll be here. I'm be thankful you got that much. I reckon I can find a buyer. So, will it be? No scratches, right? Not bad, if I do say so myself. No scratches, right? Yeah, that should do you. Best work, but it'll do. 
Yeah, that should do you. And? How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with it? Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Come to claim your just desserts. All yours. Best of luck out there, Sid. God. But if you're here, where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins, most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items we gave to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that... Would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. This looks like it's from Sid's old diary. Mitchell already have read it. I'd better keep looking. What do we have here? Oh, Sid's pipes. Something tells me Mid won't be needing these. Seeing this doll in Sid Sola. I wonder if it was Mids. Huh. What's this tucked inside it? Sid's best invention. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. What would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she'd cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. You should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. Hmm. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. <sighs> What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope, nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. 
So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. <sighs> Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Aye, aye. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. And if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I waste here, the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. All right, Clive. Blackthorn told me you helped him out again. Tough of that. Speaking of which, I'm actually a bit, um... Worried about him. And you want my advice. Afraid so. It's a bit of a funny one, this, but... I saved this posh knob while I was out on a mission, and he gave me this flashy ring to say thank you. So, obviously, I show it to Blackthorn, thinking he'll be impressed, only for him to go white as a sheet and quiet as a curl instead. Try as I might, I can't for the life of me work out what could have got him upset like that. And, seeing as our Blackthorn opens up when you're around, I thought, maybe... I'd speak to him again. Well... I suppose there's no point leaving him to stew. Cheers, Clive. I'll be sure to pay him a visit as soon as I have a moment. All right. I'll meet you by the forge, then. You come along when you're ready.
Archon King. Glory to Griga. There you are. And not a moment too soon. What's happened? Taya's busy working herself into an early grave. Since the arrival of her latest patient, she's refused to stop, even for a moment. I've tried offering to see to him in her stead, but she won't hear of it. Clive, she hasn't left the infirmary in days. She's pushing herself too hard. And if she doesn't rest soon, will you talk to her? Order her to her chambers, if that's what it takes. Because if she keeps this up, I fear the hideaway will be without its best physica before too long. I know better than to order Taya to do anything. But I'll speak to her. Oh, thank you. I pray you have better luck than I did. Taya, Rodrigo is worried about you. And if what he says is true, then so am I. We all admire your dedication, but you do need to rest. I will when it's time. Until then, I'm staying put. We owe him that much. Who is he? Someone from my past. Someone who doesn't deserve to die alone. It won't be much longer. The crystal's curse has almost finished its work. If I had the tears, I could ease his passing. But without them, we've nothing that will touch the agony of those last few hours. How would tears help this man? Not my tears. Tears of mercy. Alicia, it's the only thing strong enough. You wouldn't, Tyre. Surely. There must be something we can do for him. Sometimes an easy death is the greatest kindness we can offer. You do well to remember that, Rodrigue. I... I... I will. We have all the ingredients we need for Alicia Balwam. It needs to be fresh, though, so we rarely have much to hand. I can make the draft if you can bring me what we're missing. Just tell me what you need. There is a species of venom-weeping spider that lives in the forests of Norvent, near Lorbert's Pass. Bring me one of their eyes. Preserve it as best you can, but avoid contact with the tears. I'll make sure the other ingredients are ready before you return. Thank you, Clive. I won't forget this. Expecting you back. All yours. Best of luck out there, Sid. Bloody hell, Clive. Not this again. Oh, and you got better things to do with your time. That remains to be seen. August tells me he showed you a ring, and that the sight of it clearly upset you. Would you mind telling us why? Come on, mate. Bottling it up ain't gonna help no one. If it weren't the ring, and it was something I said, then I'm sorry. It was the ring, right? It brought back some unhappy memories, that's all. Memories better left forgotten. Memories of what? There are things we'd all rather leave behind, Blackthorn. But sometimes it helps to talk about them. And sometimes it doesn't. Is that so hard to understand? Don't be like that. Fine. If it'll get you off my back. That ring you flashed was the work of Zoltan. We apprenticed together back in the day. You've never mentioned him before. Why would I? I ain't seen him in decades, and the last time I did, we almost came to blows. The ring brought it all back. I could tell it was one of his the moment I saw it. Vast has improved, though. More than I thought possible. That thing's a work of art. So it was a nice ring. Worth a few gill, maybe. What's it matter to you? 
It matters, because engraving metal's a nightmare, and I've got no bloody idea how he managed it. The fact is, I couldn't make anything even half that detailed. So what? You're an armorer, not a jeweler. I'm the Idaway's master craftsman. I'm not stealing a living at some backwater village forge. My armor keeps you lot safe, and my swords keep you dangerous. As far as I'm concerned, every swing of my hammer's another blow struck in the name of our cause. So I put my heart and soul into my work. Because the curse breakers deserve better than second best. And I refuse to be shown up by the likes of Zoltan. Very well. Why don't we go and pay him a visit? Learn his secret? I doubt he'd be too happy to see me. Then just this once. Make peace with being second best. Swallow your pride and focus all your energies on the task at hand, keeping the curse breakers armed and armored. Provided you can do that, you'll hear no complaints from me. But if you can't, and it's going to distract you, we need to do something about it. What'd you say, Blackthorn? You know he's right. And it's not like you'll be going alone. All right. Magic. So, where do you reckon old what's-his-name is then? Zoltan, was it? In Dravozd, my old village. He won't have left. He's the chief. Dravozd, eh? That rings a bell. Not far from Tabor, right? Just north of the fields of Karava. Got that, Clive? Meet us at Dravozd as soon as you can, yeah? And I'll make sure Blackthorn don't get cold feet. Good luck with that. I'll see you there.